Jane Goodall and uh, founder of the Jane Goodall Institute and traveling around the world working to grow our youth program Roots and Shoots. I think that once young people know the facts, once you talk to people as I do, how I've stood in Greenland and seen the ice melting in early spring where it never used to melt even in the summer, seen a photograph taken 10 years later where the ice cliff has dropped so much, it's terrifying, gone straight from this melting ice to Panama where a lot of indigenous people had already been moved from their island homes because at high tide they were uninhabitable. Knowing how the droughts are getting worse, the flooding is getting worse, they're getting more frequent and more violent, and young people get this, they understand it. They become very passionate, like the young Norwegian girl who stood up at the last climate change meeting in Poland and told governments, we're not asking you to do something, we're telling you we're going to do something. My greatest hope for the future is in the young people, because once they understand the problem, we listen to their voices, and we empower them to take action. They are changing the world. My second reason for hope is the human intellect. Although it's very peculiar that the biggest difference between us and other animals is this explosive development of our intellect, we're nevertheless destroying our planet. But I think we're beginning to realize what we're doing, at least some people are. And new technology is being introduced that will help us to live in greater harmony. And even more important, as individuals making ethical choices, what we buy, what we don't buy. Where did it come from? How was it made? Did it harm the environment? Did it result in cruelty to animals? Is it cheap because of child slave labor or sweatshops? My next reason for hope is the resilience of nature. We can utterly destroy a place, give it time and maybe some help. And once again, it can support uh, nature. Animals on the brink of extinction can be and have been and are being given another chance. And social media, where for the first time we can get voices from all around the world to stand up and shout out what they want on a single day. And then finally, there's the indomitable human spirit, the people who tackle what seems impossible and won't give up. And even if they themselves don't manage to achieve the result they're aiming for, they will inspire others until in the end they succeed.